the Committee on Environment and Natural Resources and Climate Change, together with the Committee on Finance, Committee on Agriculture, Food and Agrarian Reform, Committee on Higher Technical and Vocational Education. Okay. Uh, we call the meeting to order and uh, we acknowledge the presence of uh, Senator Amy Marcos, Senator Tolentino, okay, and Cong ang present pa lang na congressman is Congressman Mangawang. Meron bang ibang congressman na present? Present, ma'am. Present, ma'am. Um, uh, can you identify yourself? I can, ah, yeah. Congresswoman uh, Hofer, okay, who else? Congressman Buboy Tupas, ma'am. Ah, okay. Congressman Tupas, we acknowledge Thank your you. presence. And I will ask my uh, my uh, COMSEC to acknowledge our resource persons and guests. COMSEC, pwede bang paki-acknowledge mo sila? Yes, ma'am. Um, good morning, everybody. The Committee on Environment and Natural Resources and Climate Change, joined with the Committee on Finance, Oh, wait. Acknowledge mo yung mga resource person and guests, Iha. Yes po. Um, together with the Committees on Finance, Committee on Higher Education, Technical and Vocational, I uh, would like to acknowledge the following resource persons from the offices under the Department of Environment and Natural Resources, uh, from the National Mapping Resource and... climate change na to. Sabihin mo dun sa nagmamanage ng Zoom. I want to see the pictures of those present. Individual. Good morning po, ma'am. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Now I see them. Okay. Can you acknowledge now the resource person? I have acknowledged the congressman and senators. Yes, ma'am. Um, the Committee on Environment, Natural Resources, and Climate Change, together with the Committees on Finance and on Higher higher Technical and Vocational Education, would like to acknowledge the following resource persons. From the offices under the Department of Environment and Natural Resources, from National Mapping Resource and Information Authority, or NAMRIA, we have Ms. Beata Batadlan and Mr. Angelito Cinco. From the you put their position you mention their position and please put on the on the zoom their names so I can read, okay. know who are they kasi walang pangalan ang mga picture hindi ko kilala kung sino okay pakilagay ka mo yung mga pangalan ng mga nasa picture okay proceed okay um from the biodiversity manage Management Bureau, uh, we have Ms. Meriden Maranan, Division Chief, National Parks Division, Ms. Norma Malinyawe, Chief of Protected Area Resources Management and Protection Section. Uh, from the Forest Management Bureau, we have uh, Forester Kenneth Tabliga, Officer in Charge, Forest Policy Section. Ms. Nalisa Maria Roca, Senior Forest Management Specialist. Um, from DENR Region 1, we have Ms. Cora Pugal, Section Chief, Ito, Protected okay. Area Management. Ma'am? Okay, go um, ahead. I'm just uh, listening. Okay. Uh, protected Area Management and Biodiversity Conservation Section from Region 3. Ms. Pearl Molato, a protect, um, Provincial Environment and Natural Resources Office, Pampanga. From Region 6, we have Mr. Danilo Lorilla, Chief of Conservation and Development Division. From Region 7, uh, we have Mr. Charlie Fabre, Assistant Regional Director for Technical Services. From Region 9, we have um, Regional Executive Director, Crisanta Marlene Rodriguez. From Region 10, we have Head Executive Assistant Noe Kalipusan. From the Climate Change Service under the DENR also, we have 
Um, Miss Miss Liz Silva, climate change um staff from the um DENR Cordillera Administrative Region. We have Miss Linda Clear Powid, Section Chief, Protected Area Management, um, of PAMBCS management um, from from the Department of Tourism representing Secretary Bernadette Romulo Puyat. We have Ms. Hobita Gano, Ganongan, officer in charge of DOT CAR. Uh, we also have Mr. Bayani Malikdem, tourism officer to DOT CAR. Um, from DOT Region 3, we have tourism of Operations Officer, Mr. Christian Salazar. From um, DOT Region 6, we have Regional Director, Ms. Christine Mancinares. From DOT Region 6, we have Mr. Rene Cortum. From DOT Region 7, we have Chief Tourism Operations Officer, Ms. Helen Helena Asis Dimpas. From DOT Region 9, we have Division Chief, Mr. Wenceslao Gales Sad Jr. Uh, from, also from DOT Region 9, we have Supervising Tourism Operations Officer, Ms. Giselle Machutes. From the National Commission on Indig Indigenous Peoples, we have um, Director Cesar Ortega for the Ancestral Domains Office. From the um, also from NCIP, we have Engineer Caridad Catherine Gulunan, a Division Chief of Ancestral Domains Office. And from NCIP Benguet, we have Engineer Alan Alatis and Attorney Myra Kalangad. Also uh, from the another guest uh, from ASEAN Center for Biodiversity, we have Executive Director Teresa Mundita Lim together with Dr. Marie Cristeri Baleva and Mr. James Santiago and Attorney Elpidio Peria. From the province of Benguet, we have Executive Assistant Ms. Rachel Carino. Uh, from the province of Ifugao, we have Forrester Arlene Kamat. Uh, from the province of uh, Nueva Vizcaya representing Governor Carlos Padilla. We have Forrester Tito Tagilig uh, from the municipality of Bocod, province of Benguet. We have Mayor Thomas Wallace Jr. together with Attorney Havan Mesa. From the municipality of Tinoc, province of Ipuga, we have Mayor Samson Benito. From the municipality uh, municipality of Kayapa, province of Nueva Vizcaya, we have Mayor Elizabeth Balasia. From the University of the Philippines, Baguio, we have Professor Senaida Baoanan. Ba For the um, uh, province of Kalinga, we have Representative. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay. From the province of Ilocos Sur, we have uh, Mr. Edgar Yabes, Provincial Environment and Natural Resources Management Officer, together with Ms. Angel May Ibanez. From the municipality of Gregorio del Pilar, province of Ilocos Sur, we have Executive Secretary Mr. Rexner Dousen. Mm, from the uh, municipality of Suyo, province of Ilocosur, we have Mayor Mario Subagan Jr. Uh, we have also a um, representative from the municipality of Magalang, province of Pampanga, Mr. Albert Baiz. Okay, from the municipality of Gulhingan, province of Negros Oriental, we have Mayor Carlo mm -hmm. Jorge. Gilhulngan. Gilhulngan, sorry. Um, we have Mayor Carlo Jorge Joana Guido Reyes.
Okay. Um, from the bio, um, additional from the Biodiversity Management Bureau, we have Assistant Director Amelita Ortiz. From the ENR car, we have Engineer Ralph Pablo, re the Regional Director Po. And um, from the ENR Region Six, we have Mr. Salvador Manglinong Jr., the Provincial Environment and Natural Resources Officer. Um, that is all, Mad Madam Chair. Okay, thank you very much. I wish to acknowledge again uh, the presence of Senator Francis Tolentino, Governor Ruel Digamo of Negros Oriental, and Representative Representative Alan Jesse Mangawang of Kalinga, Representative Aurelio Dong Gonzalez Jr. of Pampanga, Representative Raul Bubuy Tupas of Iloilo, Representative Dulce Ann Hofer of Sambuanga Sibugay, and represented Representative Abdullah Dimaporo of Lanao del Norte. Thank you for coming, and I wish also to welcome all the uh, mayors who are here, uh, I think, supporting their uh, protected areas uh, in, in this hearing. At today's hearing, we are going to tackle the bills declaring certain areas in the Philippines as protected areas under the NIPA system and the establishment of arboretums or what we call uh, botanical gardens in Lanao del Norte. The bills calling for the declaration of certain areas in the countries as protected areas are as follows. Uh, HB 9325, authored by Representative Representative Chungalao and SB 2278, authored by yours truly. This is the Mount Pulag Protected Landscape Area in Ifugao. Number two is HB 9329, authored by uh, uh, Congressman Mangawang and SB 2280, authored by yours truly. Uh, this is uh, the Banao Protected Landscape Act in Kalinga. Number three is HB 9327 and uh, authored by uh, uh, Congresswoman Singson Mihan of Ilocos Sur. And this is the tier and SB 2279 authored by yours truly. This is the tier and past protected landscape act. And number four is HB 9206 uh, <clears throat> authored by Congressman Gonzalez and SB 173, authored by yours truly, which is the Mount Arayat Protected Landscape Act. And number five is HB 9328, uh, authored by uh, Congressman Tupas, and SB 2277, authored by yours truly, which is the Sikogan Island Wildlife Sanctuary Act. Number six is HB 8440, authored by... Uh, uh, Congresswoman Lim Kai Chong of Negros Oriental and SB 1712, authored by yours truly. This is the Hinakpan Mystical Hills Natural Monument Act. And number seven is HB 9326, authored by Congresswoman Hofer of Sambuanga Sibugay and SB 2276, uh, authored by yours truly. This is the Naga Kabasalan Protected Landscape Act. Okay, they are seven. And with regards to arboretum or we, what we call botanical gardens, there are three bills. HB 7798, authored by Congressman Dimaporo, and SB 1243, authored by Senate President Soto, an act establishing the Mindanao State University Lano del Norte Agricultural College Ar Arboretum. Okay, number two is HB 6929, authored by Congressman Dimaporo, and SB 1244, authored by Senate President uh, Soto, which is the act establishing the Mighty Cape Park Arboretum in Tagaloa and Lanao del Norte. And number three is HB 6928, authored also by Congressman Dimaporo, and SB 1245, authored by Senate President Soto, which is an act establishing the Columbugan Lano del Norte Arboreto. Okay. During the previous 17th Congress, 
Being the chairperson of this committee, I vigorously push for the passage of Republic Act Number no. 11038 or the Expanded National Integrated Protected Area System, or what we call ENIPAS Act of 2018, which strengthened the legal framework for the establishment, management, and maintenance of all designated protected areas in the country and those that are identified to be ecologically rich and unique areas and biologically important public lands that are habitats of rare and threatened species of plants and animals, biogeographic zones and related ecosystem, whether terrestrial, wetland or marine. It is important to manage well these protected areas to support their essential ecological processes and life support system, to preserve genetic diversity, to ensure sustainable use of resource found therein, and to maintain their natural condition to the greatest expanded extent possible. The expanded NIPAS Act of 2018 facilitated the legislation of 94 more protected areas in addition to the seven to the 13 individually legislated under the operation of the original NIPAS law or RA7586. Thus, it brought the country total legislated protected areas to 107 or a total of 4,382,658 hectares. Okay. 4 million is about uh, 382,000, is about 15% uh, of the Philippines. Okay. So 15% uh, of the Philippines, 30 million kasi ang ating land area, 30 million hectares. So 15% of those 30 million hectares would be considered as legislated protected area. So we're very proud of that. And uh, I have talked with Secretary Simatu, and he agreed with me that from now on, the greening program of the Department of Environment and Natural Resources will be divided into these 107 protected areas. So, lahat sila may budget na for greening. At hindi na makakat ang greening program kasi palaging sinasabi sa Senado na kaya daw binabawasan, hindi malamang kung saan itinatanim ngayon. Uh, malalaman na natin kung saan tinatanim kasi dadalhin sa mga protected area. At lahat ng protected area under the law, meron silang management committee composed of the government, uh, the private sector, and uh, and the uh, Department of Environment and Natural Resources, and uh, the LGUs. Kaya may magmamanage na to make sure that the budget for greening will be spent in our really protected area. And today I'm very proud. And just to mention a few, some of our prominent or international legislated protected areas in the country include uh, eight ASEAN heritage sites, namely the Mount Apo, the Mount Kitanglad, the Mount Malindang, Mount Hamigitan, Mount Timpoong Hibok Hibok, Mount Iglit Baco, the Tubataha Reef, and the Agusan Mars. So, iyan po ang ating mga famous ASEAN heritage sites na protected, legislated pro protected area. And another four Ramsar ra sites or wetlands of international importance, namely the Agusan Mars, and the Tubat Aharif, Olango Island, and Las Piñas Paranaque Wetland Park, which is located in my hometown, Las Piñas City, and the only one in NCR and the very urban area. So we're very proud of our Las Piñas Paranaque Wetland Park. Also, uh, the protected area, Turter Island Wildlife Sanctuary, is part of the Turtle Island Heritage Protected Area is a transboundary protected area shared by Malaysia and the Philippines. Kaya we're very proud of them.
One may think that the 107 protected areas in the country is already a big number or that 4,382,000 hectares already covers a great extent. But that is not so when it comes to the Philippines. Our country's great, great attributes carry a great responsibility upon us. The Philippines is one of the world's 17 mega diverse or biodiversity rich countries, which hosts two thirds of the earth biodiversity and contain about 70 to 80 percent of the world's plant and animal species. However, while it is a biodiversity rich, the Philippines also is among the world's biodiversity hotspots or those areas experiencing high rates of habitat degradation and biodiversity loss. Kaya hotspots have lost around 86% of their original habitat and are also considered to be significantly threatened by extinction induced by man-made exploitation and also by climate change. Thus, there are still many areas in the countries, such as wetlands, marine sanctuaries, tropical forest, watershed, wildlife sanctuaries, among others, that remain underprotected. And one certain way of affording protection to this area is by designating them as protected areas under a law or a legislated protected area so that the NIPAS mechanism of protection and conservation may be applied in these areas. Moreover, Section 5 of the expanded NIPAS Act provides that upon the recommendation of the DNR, additional areas with unique physical features, anthropological significance, and high biological diversity may be proposed for inclusion as part of the system. Today, we will discuss the merits of declaring as protected areas under the NIPAS the following, Mount Pulag in Benguet, Ifugao, and Nueva Vizcaya, the Banao, or also known as Balbasang Balbala Natural Park in Balbalan, Kalinga, the Tirad Pass in Ilocos Sur, Mount Arayat in Pampanga, Sikogon Island Wildlife Sanctuary in Carles, Iloilo, Hinakpan Mystical Hills in Negros Oriental, and the Naga Kabasalan Protected Landscape in Sambuanga, Sibugay. Okay. We will also discuss today bills establishing three arboretums or botanical gardens in the province of Lanao del Norte. In the technical bulletin number issued by the Forest Management Bureau of DNR in 2015, an arboretum has been defined as a well-grown and representative collection of trees maintained for the purpose of reference and convenient source of seed and herbarium, materials for use and exchange. It is a collection of living specimen for scientific studies conservation of genetic resources, learning area for dendrology or the study of trees and for the study of phenology and the reproductive biologies of species. In layman's language, arboretums are areas devoted to specimen planting and cultivation of woody plants, which are either trees or shrubs for ecological research educational and recreational purposes. Given that there is now a heightened interest in planting brought about by the pandemic and the awareness on the effects of climate change, these bills are timely. There should really be places where people could go to appreciate the trees, learn about the correct way of planting trees and the benefits we derive from it, particularly on mitigating the effects of climate change. At this point, let me inform everybody that the UN Decade on Ecosystem Restoration started this year. It will run from 2021 to 2030 and aims to prevent, halt, and reverse the degradation of ecosystems on every continent and in every ocean. This Ecosystem Restoration Decade 
was so declared by the United Nations General Assembly in 2019 to massively scale up the restoration of destroyed ecosystems all around the world for the benefit of people and nature, given the realization that it is only with healthy ecosystems can we enhance the people's livelihood, counteract climate change, stop the collapse of biodiversity, enhance food security, and ensure water supply. This local, the local bills to be tackled today are very much in line with the objective of the ecosystem restoration decades. And so we hope to have a productive discussion on the measures. I will now uh, ask the senators if they want to give an opening statement to do so. We call on Senator uh, Tolentino of uh, Cavite. Okay. Good morning, from the Impagna Bigat Yamin Apo to our friends in uh, Northern Philippines as well as to Congress with members of Congress. I, I see the faces of Congress who can offer us. I could try to have a bit of a talk. No questions, uh, ma'am. Let me just allow the resource persons to speak. Uh, just yeah. a little caveat on how the IPs will be affected and how they will be protected as well. Uh, and to my friends in the north, I'll be there in Benguet this coming Sunday. Uh, good morning, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, maraming salamat, uh, Senator Tolentino one of our very hardworking senator. And now we will discuss the bills. Uh, we will recognize the uh, sponsor and the author of the bill to make an explanation on their bills. So we will start with the uh, Mount Pulag Protected Landscape authored by uh, Congress, Congressman Chungalaw or representative can you speak uh, if he, congressman chungalaw is not here maybe the representative can speak for him sino ang representative ni congressman chungalaw uh, please raise your hand and introduce yourself uh, madam chair um Congress, Congressman Chungalo did not send any representative nor confirm his attendance to this public hearing. So who will speak for uh, Mount Pulag? Otherwise, we will postpone this. We will not pass this. If nobody will speak for this uh, no, legislation. Uh, we have the representative from the province of Nueva Vizcaya po, si Forrester Tito Taggilig. Oh, can you speak in behalf of the author? And we also have the um, si Mayor Thomas Wallace ng Municipality of Bocod and Mayor Ruben Tindaan of Municipality of Bugias. Then meron, andito din po si Mayor Samson Benito, Municipality of Tino. And also Professor Senaida Baowanan. Um, she is from University of the Philippines, Baguio, who made a study on Mount Pulag po. Uh, who will speak for Mount Pulag? Uh, please recognize. Uh, uh, this is Emerita Albas from Mount Pulag National Park Protected Area Office, ma'am. Yes. Uh, Present po. O sino magsasalita in behalf of Mount Pulag? Ay, hindi kayo, hindi enough na present kayo. You have to make a presentation on Mount Pulag. We have also, we can, we have sent our stop, paper, position paper for stop Mount Pulag. Stop calling them. You read your position paper. Uh, you tell, uh, Comsec, tell them to speak for it. Wala bang magsasalita in behalf of Mount Pulag? Um, Professor Senaida or Ms. Emelita po will present their um, position paper po. Also, si Director Ralph Pablo po ng D and R. Carr. Isa lang lamang. Isa lamang ang magsasalita for Mount Pulag. Please, please uh, present your paper. Ma'am, we can have Director Pab uh, Ralph Pablo ng D and R. Carr. Yes po, confirmed. Confirmed po. Um, oh, so please, I recognize the one who will be talking in behalf of Mount Pulag. Yeah, I'm uh, 
Regional Executive Director Ralph Pablo of the uh, uh, Department of Environment and Natural Resources of the District of Rico. Good morning, uh, Madam Chair, the Honorable... Please speak President. louder. We cannot hear you. Please speak louder. We cannot hear you. Sabi mo, malakasan ng salita, hindi madinig. Oh. Ano ba yun? Oh. Nawala na na. Yeah? yeah okay. Continue. Yeah. Please speak louder. Please speak louder. Yes, 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 ma Sumigaw ka, iho. Hindi ka madinig. Malayo ka. Nasa kakakar ka eh. <laughs> Kahapon, hindi namin madinig yung mga taga Mindanao eh. Ngayon, hindi natin madinig yung mga taga car. Lakasan mo salita mo, iho, para madinig ka ng mga nakikinig sa atin. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Uh, good morning, ma'am. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, okay, continue. Louder, louder. Yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. <laughs> Tanggalin mo na yung ano mo, kasi pag may ganyan, hindi madinig yung ano mo, yung mask mo. Tanggalin mo yung mask mo para madinig ka. May kasama ka ba dyan? Palayuin mo sila para makapagsalita ka without the mask. Hindi ka maintindihan eh. I'm alone, ma'am, I'm alone. Oh, yung pala, tanggalin mo mask mo. Wala akong mask, ma'am. Wala akong mask. Eh, sino yung nagsasalita? Nasaan ka? Sino? Ikaw? Ikaw ba yan? Yung may naka, ano, naka-printed? Ikaw ba yan? Nasaan? Ma'am, yung naka-dark polo po. Oh, it's a dark green. Ah, okay. Sige, iha. Ah, iho, maglakas ka ng salita. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. okay. So, good morning, uh, Madam Chair, and uh, to all the... Uh, members of uh, the Senate present and, uh, of course, uh, uh, in Congress. Just a background of uh, this uh, uh, proposed bills. Presidential Proclamation Number 75 declared certain parcel of land of the public domain embraced and uh, situated in the municipalities of Bugias and Cabayan in Benguet, uh, Bukod, and Benguet, I should say, Kiangan in Ifugao, Kayapa in Nueva Vizcaya, Islands of Luzon, as Mount Pulag National Park in order to protect and preserve its outstanding natural features, particularly the wildlife, vegetation, and unique lakes. Through the NIPAS Act and its implementing rules and regulations as amended by INIPAS Act of 2018, and the DNR Administrative Order Number 2019-05, DNR CAR and other line agencies have conducted initial activities for its establishment as protected area under the system. Ground verification and actual survey of, of the meets and bounds stipulated in Proclamation Number 75 yielded a total coverage of 11,580 uh, 88, okay, 0.435 uh, hectares. The specific areas include portions of the municipality of Bukod, Kabayan, and Bugias in Benguet, and municipality of Tinok in Ifugao, and municipality of uh, Kayapa in Nueva Vizcaya. Activities such as public consultation and the Protected Area Sustainability Assessment, or PASA, have been recently uh, conducted within the protected area and in order to update previous records. Moreover, the PASA report had been uh, presented to the Regional NIPAS Review Committee during the virtual meeting last November 11, 2020, and resulted in a positive review supporting the recommendations of PASA team to establish Mount Pulag under the category of protected landscapes. So the DNR's uh, position on the above mentioned premise, DNR's, uh, DNR CAR favors the passage of the bill into law for uh, the following reasons. One, Mount Pulag is a major habitat waters supporting several communities as, as far as Region 2 and Region 3. The many tributaries originating from it feeds, it, uh, feeds its water into the major river system, the Agno in the west and the Katnaan in the east. 
Dagno River provides water for three major dams. Kasnan ba yun o kasiknan? Ano ba yun? Kasiknan? Hindi ba yan kasiknan? Katnan? Ngayon lang ako nakarinig ng katnan. Is that a river? Yes ma'am, katnaan. That's the ano, that's the, uh, the name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And okay. Agno River provides water for three major dams. We have the Ambuklao Hydroelectric Power Plant in Bukod, Binga Hydroelectric Plant in Itogon, and San Roque Hydroelectric Plant in Pangasinan. While the uh, Katnaan River feeds water to the Magat Hydroelectric Power. Plant in Ifugao and Isabela, besides providing water to these power plants, it also ensures water for irrigation and ag uh, aquaculture to the communities along the riverbank. Further, several lakes abound within the park. These lakes uh, by themselves are truly unique and provide habitat to many species of flora and fauna. They are uh, valued by the indigenous people living within the park as they are integrated into their cultural practices and ecotourism ventures. Number two, several scientific studies conducted within the park highlight the unique ecosystem that provide habitat to significantly diverse number of flora and fauna. Studies show that Mount Pulag contains 578 plant species and 39% of these are endemic to the area. Birds and mammal species, some of which are threatened and abound in the park. Number three, the park is a global ecotourism destination site and it is a candidate for World Heritage Site. Number four, the park has about 300 hectares of unique grassland and this is the dwarf bamboo. In addition, it, all, uh, it also harbors about 7,000 hectares of intact mossy forest that helps in carbon sequ uh, sequestration. You know, its other uh, forest types of lower elevation help mitigate so uh, soil erosion or sedimentation of the four hydro power dams. And lastly, Mount Pulag uh, uh, it's consideration for the presence of coexistence of the indigenous cultural communities or ICCs and the exceptional landscape ecosystem is given due recognition in the area is classified under the category of protected landscape. With that note, uh, Madam Chair, uh, we support the, uh, the Senate Bill number 2278 and House Bill uh, Senate Bill 2278 and House Bill uh, 9325 uh, uh, introduced uh, by the Honorable Senator Sinja Evillar and Honorable Representatives uh, Representative Solomon uh, Archimalo and uh, Joel uh, Barga Barzaga Jr. and Victor Eriap entitled an act declaring parcel of land located in the municipality of Cabayan, Bokod and Bogyas in the province of Benguet and in uh, the municipality of Tinok in the province of Ifugao and in the municipality of Kayapa in the province of Nueva Vizcaya, a protected area with the category protected landscape under the Nat National mm -hmm. Integrated Protected Area System, NIPAS, to be referred to as the ACT, as the Mount Pulag Protected Landscape, providing for its management and appropriate funding, therefore. Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Chair. Uh, Madam Sincha A. Villar. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Uh, Ralph Nawala Salita. Madam uh, 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 Ralph, for your uh, support of the bill. And then we recognize Ms. Jovita Ganongan, OIC, Department of Tourism of the Cordillera Autonomous Region. Okay. <laughs> Miss Kanongan, you're recognized. Nasaan si Miss Kanongan? Kanongan, wala? Sabi nila i-recognize na. Madam Chair? Madam Chair? Yes. Yes? Madam Chair, I would like to take 
please introduce yourself. Asani mga wang from Kalinga, Madam Chair. Congressman mga wang from Kalinga. I would ah, like yes. to take the I would like to take the cudgels of uh, Congressman uh, for, for Congressman uh, Solomon Chungalaw. Why? Why like is where is so Congressman Chungalaw? <laughs> Why are you? Uh, what what's his problem? He's <laughs> currently having a check up at uh, a hospital in Baguio City, Madam Chair. Okay, okay. So I would like to, uh, after hearing the explanation of uh, the Honorable uh, uh, Ralph Pablo, I would like to uh, sponsor in behalf of Honorable Solomon Tsungala House Bill 1925 and have the explanatory note be adopted as his uh, sponsorship speech, Madam Chair, and uh, declaring Madam Chair, that this particular House bill, which is counterparted by your yours truly, uh, by your uh, your uh, Senate Bill two two seven eight, Madam Chair, to be approved. Okay, thank Asubo, you, Madam Chair. So, uh, the the OT of Car will not speak anymore. Okay, oh, if you will sorry. not, uh, we will go on to the next bill. The Banao Protected Landscape of uh, Congressman Mangawan, HB 9329 and SB 2280 of Kalinga. Okay. Senator? Yes, uh, Senator uh, Tolentino. Uh, Just a brief interjection. Perhaps the Department of Tourism can provide the committee data as to the number of tourists visiting Mount Pulag. Kasi yung Mount Pulag yeah. yung talaga ang pinupaan doon eh. I recognize them. It seems uh, they told me to recognize her, but she didn't speak. I don't know where is she is. Uh, Senator, uh, oh, where are you? Uh, yeah, ikaw ba yung sa DOT? Uh, Senator, uh, po, from the academy, po, may I share po our... No, no, no. We finish first the DOT. Where is the people from DOT? Because uh, Senator Tolentino said it's a, uh, it's a tourism area. Are you talking in behalf of the DOT? No po, from the academy po. Yeah, we will finish first the DOT. Kasi sinabi sa akin, i-recognize yung DOT. Nawala ang DOT. Madam Chair? Madam Chair? Wag ka magulo, Iha. Makinig ka. Madam Chair? Wag ka yung DOT. Bakit ka ba salita ng salita? Sinabi ko, we will finish the DOT first, then I will call you. Good morning, Madam Chair. This is... um. Viveka Lopez from the Central Office of DOT. Uh, you are speaking in behalf of the DOT. Uh, yes, Madam Chair. Uh, this is from the Central Office. Po. Uh, on behalf of um, DOT CAR, may I just uh, read their position paper po? because okay. they submitted their position to us. We okay, recognize po. DOT. Okay, po. Thank you, Mr. Madam Chair. DOT, we recognize DOT. Okay. Okay, po. Um, so the DOT car expresses strong support po, um, to Senate Bill 2278 and House Bill 9325, considering the impact of this legislation to the sustainable development of ecotourism destinations in the Cordilleras, particularly the Mount Pulang National Park. Uh, the bill will strengthen and reinforce preservation and conservation efforts of various stakeholders and will serve as guard to various illegal activities that have time and again threatened the existence of the park's flora and fauna and in general its environmental integrity. With the Mount Pulag National Park considered as one of the top five tourism destinations in the Cordilleras, the approval of the said bill will ensure the management mechanisms are in place and to prevent the negative effects of over-tourism in the area and ensure that the carrying capacity of this ecotourism asset is upheld at all times. Uh, so, Madam Chair, um, uh, the DOT car um, expressly um, supports the proposed measures po. and with respect po, uh, to the question of Senator Francis Tolentino, we will we will relay po the the request. Um, if I may, you cannot clarify. answer. Uh, Iha, you cannot answer the question of Senator Tolentino uh, now. Uh, yes, I don't have the data po from the DOT car. Uh, you know, um, just we, I wish to remind you that if you come here, you bring your data. <laughs> Kasi kaya tayo naghihiring para you can answer the questions. Eh, bakit simpleng ilan ng ilan ng uh, 
tourist na pumupunta sa Mount Pula, hindi nyo alam, eh, DOT car kayo. Ako, ako yun, ako ang DOT car, memorize by heart ko yun. As, as Senator, uh, Madam Chair, I am from the Central Office po. Uh, if we have anyone on board from DOT car who may uh, have the figures, may we ask for... To may we ask anyone to respond to the query? Anyone from the OT car? Sa ano? Sa ano ng the OT car? Kasi sinabi sa akin, irecognize ko daw yung Miss Hovita ganongan of the OT car. O nasaan siya? Do we? I think we have Mr. Bayani Malik Malik Dem with us. Okay. We recognize the OT car to answer the question of Senator Tolentino. That's a very simple question. Kung ikayo talaga ginagawa niyo trabaho niyo sa DOT, alam niyo kung ilan ang ang guest ng Mount Pulag uh, in terms of tourists, di ba? Napakasimpleng uh, question uh, lang noon eh. Uh, Madam Chair, may may I um may I just confer with Mr. Bayani Malik Dem with okay, the okay. question and okay. okay. We'll, we'll wait for you. We'll wait for okay. you. Okay, thank you very much, Madam Chair. <laughs> Bigla daw nawala yung DOT car Kanina nag-confirm Natakot sa'yo Senator Tolentino Baka hindi masagot ang question mo <laughs> Nawala eh Mom to abbreviate your proceedings Perhaps we can uh, uh, the Yeah, maybe they can uh, manifest later on We'll go to the next bill HB 9329 and SB 2280 Sponsored by uh, Representative Mangawan. We recognize now uh, Representative Mangawan to, the, to sponsor the Banao Protected Landscape Act. Thank you so much, uh, Madam Chair, to the Honorable Chair of this uh, Senate Committee on Environment, Natural Resources, and Climate Change, Madam uh, Senator uh, Cynthia Villar. Mm -hmm. The Honorable members of this committee, uh, we have Senator uh, Francis Tolentino, resource speakers, a pleasant morning to all of you. First of all, I would like to thank your honor, Madam Chair, for sponsoring the Senate counterpart, Senate Bill uh, 2280, for this uh, particular measure. House Bill na number 9329 seeks to declare the Banao protected landscape situated in the municipality of Balbalan, province of Kalinga, as a protected area under the category of protected, protected landscape. Also known as the Balbalasang Balbala National Park, the landscape was declared as a national park in 1972 by virtue of Republic Act 6463. However, it was not included in the list of protected areas established under Republic Act 11038 or otherwise known as the Eight Naipas Act of 2018. We included yes. all, uh, may I intercede, we included all that were filed in Congress. I think you failed to file in Congress. Kasi we did not include if you did not file in Congress. Local bill to eh, na ina-assemble lang namin sa Senate, di ba? Oo. Yeah. That it should come from the Congressman to file the bill, to be included. So it's good that you're filing now. Okay. Precisely Go why ahead. did we file this, file this bill, Madam Chair? Subsequently, the Protected Area Suitability Assessment Report submitted by the DNR Car Regional Office in 2018 recommends the establishment of the area under the NIPAS. Dubbed as the green heart of the Cordillera, the park is representative of the rich biodiversity and landscape of the Cordillera Mountain region with some of the most intact pine forests and richly endemic flora and fauna. It's a sad fact, however, that like other protected areas and natural reserves in the country, this unique place is slowly succumbing to pollution, destructive human exploitation, and the effects of climate change. Without continuing legal protection and an, an, and an established management and mechanism for its protection, this place will be further exploited, destroyed, and ultimately will be lost to us forever. 
Hence, in view of the significance and urgency of this measure, we ask for its immediate approval. Thank you so much, Madam Chair and honorable members of this committee. How big is the Banao protected landscape? Uh, 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 Congresswoman Mangawan? Kasi yung Mount Pulag, 11,588 hectares. Kayo, gaano kalaki kayo? It's more or less uh, 8,000 uh, uh, hectares, ma Madam, uh, Madam Chair. Okay, uh, do you have any question, uh, uh, Senator Tolentino? Yes. Wala. Okay. We go now to the third one, the Tirad Pass Protected Landscape, HB number 9327, authored by uh, Congresswoman Singson Mihan and uh, the Senate bill authored by yours truly. Can we recognize someone who will uh, defend the Tirad Pass Protected Landscape Act? I think Congresswoman Singson Mihan is not here, who will take over the uh, uh, manifestation for the Tirad Pass Protected Landscape. Can you raise your hand? And introduce yourself. Okay. Uh, uh, yes, uh, Madam uh, Chair, the Honorable uh, Senator uh, C. Chabillar. This is uh, uh, Director Crisaldi and Barcelo of the NR Region 1, uh, Madam mm -hmm. Senator. And to the distinguished members of the uh, Committee on Environment. So, in behalf of the Honorable Congresswoman Singson. What is your name, like, Iho? What is your name, Iho? Director Crisaldi and Barcelo po of Diana Region 1. Okay. Okay, so, go ahead. So, uh, to support uh, Senate, bill, uh, Senate Bill number 2279. And House Bill Number 9327, uh, the Tirad Pass Protected Landscape should be legislated for the following uh, reasons. It has a total land area of 6,386 hectares located in the municipalities of Gregorio del Pilar, Quirino, Sigay, Cervantes, and Suyo, all in the province of Ilocos Sur. Its biological significance, it is mountainous area in the uplands of the province of Ilocos Sur with highest elevation of about 1,705 uh, meters sea level, characterized by generally steep slopes ranging from 18 to 50 percent. It has also uh, chlor uh, it, it consists also of uh, forest, uh, mossy forest, interspersed with dipterocarps, dengit pine, almasiga, and other associated species. For Pona, it is the habitat of endangered and vulnerable avian species, such as changeable hawk eagle, Serpent eagle, Tarictic hornbill, Scale feathered malcoha, Fairy bluebird, Balakasyaw, and Jump fowl. And the main reason for the establishment as a protected area are the following The Tirad Pass is part of the Abra River Basin, which is one of the major watersheds of Region 1 and Cordillera Administrative Region. Tirad Pass, as we all know, is a national shrine by virtue of Proclamation Number 433, dated July 23, 1968, and administered by the National Shrines Commission. And lastly, Tirad Pass also is known for its historical significance because it is in there where the famous Battle of Tirad Pass on December 2, 1899 was uh, uh, held. So we therefore strongly support 
the legislation of the Tirad Pass as a protected area under the INI Pass or RA 11038, Madam Chair. Thank you and good morning. Hindi ba yan tirad, uh, kaya yung isang bayan dyan, pangalang Gregorio del Pilar because Gregorio del Pilar is the hero of the Battle of Tirad Pass. Tama ba yun? Uh, tama po, Madam Chair. Tama po. Binanggit okay. ko nga po kanina, it encompasses the municipalities of Gregorio del Pilar, Quirino, Sigay, Cervantes, and Suyo, all in the province of Ilocos. May isa pang lugar dyan na Inay Pass eh. Ano yun? From my Ayun memory, pa. ano yon? Yung besang pas po, yung besang pas. Besang pas, yeah. Po. There is an ano, mala, malapit yan sa inyo, po. di ba? Cervantes. Opo, opo. So, dalawa ang inyong legislated protected area, pareho pang historical. Di ba yung besang pas is historical also? Di ba yung battle din ng besang pas? Opo, yun po yung uh, the longest battle, yung sa besang pas po. Ay, kailan nangyari yun? Ah... Uh, Sino nauna, Tirad Pass o Besang Pass? Nauna po yung Besang Pass, uh, Madam Chair. Bago Tirad Pass. Opo. So, mga ano pala kayo, mga heroes. Oh. Opo. <laughs> During the Spanish time to, di ba? Uh. Uh, Japanese pa, Japanese. Ja Japanese ba to? Ba't sabi mo, 18 something? Yung Tirad Pass. Anong date yung Tirad Pass? And... Uh, uh, Opo, nang, nangyari po yung Battle of Tirad Pass on December 2, 1899. During the Spanish time, uh, oh, I should Yung say, Besang uh, Pass. Ano yung Besang Pass? Anong, man, anong uh, year yun? 19, 1940s po yun. So, during oh, the so time... So, nauna ang Tirad Pass nung Spanish. Ah, And then, opo, yung opo. Besang Pass nung World War II. Oo. Opo, 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 so, opo, palagi opo. kayong heroes of wars. In the Philippines. Congratulations oh, sa Ilocos Sur. I think uh, 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 Secretar uh, Senator Tolentino will ask a question. Just, just one question to the good uh, lawyer from, from the North. What yes. would be the effect if we pass this into law, declaring it as a, a an environmentally protected area vis-a-vis -vis the, the, the previous declaration that it is a national historical strike, what would be the, the conflict event? Uh, is there going to be a announcement? Uh, are, we, are we amending the previous law when, when uh, Tirad Pass was declared as a national historical strike? Then po nag-retreat yung kababayan namin, si General Emilio Aguinaldo Mam. Uh, yung mga rin laban niya. Gusto mo sabihin eh, heroes din ang mga taga-kabite. <laughs> Katulad ng mga taga-Iloko Sur. <laughs> so ano po magiging epekta nitong bagong panukalang patas sa National Historical Strike? Pa-amend ba yun o may conflict ba? Uh, uh, Senator uh, Tolentino po, uh, Honorable Senator Tolentino, siguro I may refer you, siguro uh, may I request from BMB Bureau uh, Biodiversity Management Bureau kung ano po yung magiging uh, uh, legal consequences kung i-legislate po nito natin ito magiging protected uh, landscape doon sa previous na ano siya historical site. Any representative po from BMB? We recognize the representative of BMB. Please introduce yourself. Thank you, Madam Chair. Maganda umaga po sa lahat. Introduce mo sarili mo, Iha. Yes, ma'am. Uh, this is Amelita Ortiz, Assistant Director po ng Biodiversity Management Bureau. And mm -hmm. on the part of the BMB po, actually po, ang isang position namin, ang sinasuggest namin is to get the is to get the concurrence of uh, the National Shrines Commission. That's why doon din po sa composition ng Protected Area Management Board, uh, we are suggesting that the Department of Tourism and including the National Shrines Commission be included as members. So para po uh, uh, lahat ng ano is ma-enhance natin and ma-harmonize 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't think there will be conflict and uh, kayo ang gagawa ng listahan ng Protected Area Management Bureau, di ba? Oo. So, isasali nyo para nang sa ganun, makoordinate yung pagka national historical site niya and at the same time as a, a protected area. I don't think there's a conflict from my point of view but you have just to include yung, uh, yung uh, historical commission to sa inyong protected air, area management team. Kasi kami, ang maganda dito sa, ano, sa pag na-declare kayo sa na inaipas, you, you will be forced to create a management team composed of LGUs, uh, DNR National Government, and then yung mga... Uh, Ah. Uh, uh, mga ano mga mga private sector lalo na yung mga environmentalists plus uh, pwede nyo, if it's historical then you include the historical commission para hindi naman masira yung pagka historical site niya because uh, what they will do with the protected area will depend upon the uh, protected area management uh, management board, which is what we call the PAMBI. We call it the PAMBI. Uh -oh. Lahat ng protected area, merong ganun. And it's a combination of many people uh, which are concerned with the protected area. So, I guess that would be the solution to include the National Historical Commission in that PAMBI. Okay, thank you. So, will that satisfy you, Senator Tolentino? Yes? Ma Madam Chair? Madam Chair? Yes. Yeah, uh, Congressman mga ko from Kalinga. Oh, teka, i-recognize muna natin yung uh, Senator Tolentino. Gusto niya magsalita. Okay. I'm uh, satisfied uh, with the inclusion yeah. of the historic commission. Thank you, Senator. Now we recognize that uh, Congressman Mangawang. Yeah, uh, this is in, ad in addition to the query of the Honorable uh, Senator Francis Tolentino with respect to yung movements ni President Emilio Aguinaldo. Actually, since Tirad Pass is near the province of Kalinga, uh, the, the Honorable Emilio Aguinaldo, Senator Francis, uh, had office at Lubuagan, uh, Kalinga for 72 days, which is part of uh, history, Madam Chair and Senator Francis. And Madam Chair, I, w I wish to rectify the, the land area of uh, the Banao uh, water yeah. set. Uh, Banao. Oh, okay. Uh, it's, it's not 8,000, it's 21,576,000 hectares, Madam Chair. Okay. 21,576 hectares. Yeah, okay. Thank you so much, Madam Chair. Thank you so much, Honorable Francis. So, pag inad natin, 11, 5, tapos 26, 21, 5, oh, 12, 33 na, tapos 6,000, 40,000 na. Marami tayong mahaha, makukuhang mga area today. Okay. So, we, are there any more speakers for Tirad Pass? May. Okay, we recognize Mayor Mario Subangan of Suyo, Ilocos Sur. Gusto niyang mag-show ng support for Tirad Pass. Okay. Please uh, uh, introduce yourself so we will know from your pictures. Kayo? Mayor? Well, uh, good morning, uh, Madam Chair. Uh, yes. Madam Senator Miller. Yes. Hey, Ma'am. Can you raise your hand uh, so we will yes, recognize you? Wala ka ba sa picture? Yes, Ma'am. Uh, ayun, okay. Ma Mario, Mayor Subagan. Okay. We recognize you. Okay. Uh, I read my uh, position papers also, ma'am. Yes, yes. Read your position paper. Well, uh, with your indulgence, ma'am, uh, I read my uh, short uh, position papers of the LGO Soyo. NEPAS covers all designated protected areas to maintain essential ecological processes and life support system to preserve genetic diversity to ensure sustainable use of resources found therein and to maintain the natural condition to the greatest extent possible 
One of the categories of clay pass is the protected landscape which covers areas of national significance which are characterized by the harmonious interaction of man and land while providing opportunities to public enjoyment, clear creation, and tension within the normal lifestyle and economic activity of these areas. Tirad Pass National Park was proclaimed through Presidential Proclamation No. 433, dated July 23, 1968, with an area of 6,320 hectares, and become an initial component under the Republic Act 7586 of the Pass Act of 1992, as amended by RA 138, or INAIPAS Act of 2018, referred to as Tirad Pass Protected Landscape. The whole area over 13... Tawag mo nga si... The whole area covers Cervantes in Soyo, Ilocosor. Tirad Pass National Park has historical significance where the previous battle of Terad Pass between Philippine soldiers under Gregorio, General Gregorio Butler and American soldiers under General Putin March took place on December 2, 1899. TPPL also represents various three species, species dominated by the Terocarp forest and home of various wildlife species. Significantly, the park possesses several bodies of water like the rolling streams, rivers, springs, creeks, and waterfalls. The whole area of PPPL covers an approximate 920 hectares around the municipality of Sulu, which comprises of 600 hectares of forest land and 70 hectares of unwinnable and disposable land. It covers two sitios of Barangay Manaton, namely Sitio Botigui and Sitio Bangkag. The sitios, two sitios has a total population of 170 persons and 41 total household and were occupied by indigenous, indigenous people since time in the rural possess and utilize the land for their living. The present economic activity in the area was purely agriculture. Around the forest land areas has some tenured areas like stewardship contract given to the community to develop a portion land of the land. Also a wide area of coffee plantation under stewardship was currently managed by Butugi Coffee Growers Association. In terms of infrastructure, it has an existing concrete barangay leading to shipping. In one educational facility is also present on Sitio Bangkag, which scatters all the students in Sitio Bangkag in Botigi. The Padukit River is a very promising tourist attraction because of its distinct features like rock formations, river, and waterfalls. The river connecting the lo to the lower Amburayan River was also covered by TPPL. Okay, At present, one of the programs of the municipality of Soyo, partnered by the Department of Agriculture, in Ocosor, was the rejuvenation of Old Coffee, located at Sitio Butigi. The Department of Agrarian Agrarian in Ocosor provided assistance to the Kofi Sitio Butigi to rejuvenate their plants for better production rate as well as marketing strategies for more profitable income conducted by DTI in Ocosor. Recommendations. In GSO, you believe that protective areas are necessary for the maintenance of biodiversity in ecosystem services, both on individual site and within the wider landscape. Will well-managed community forest can, for example, provide vital buffers for, for links between protected areas, 
management under the protected landscape, including intensive tourism management, can be critical in cost-effective conservation tool with in larger scale conservation strategies. LGO Suyo believes the proclamation of Terra Pass protected landscape can increase biodiversity in forest land landscape or other cultural landscape that have been poorly managed in the past. Help to maintain biodiversity in natural forest landscape that contain the proportional management forest site. In junior school, we recognize that conservation must be balanced with the range of other priorities of landscape scale. It's the role that forest can play in contributing to the human being, public elevation and sustainable livelihood. Increased efforts should be made towards the protection of terrestrial forest water, fresh waters, and species by tackling the major sources of pollution. In view of the long threat of climate change, mitigation and adaptation responses should urgently be implemented. Healthy ecosystems can contribute in many ways to climate change mitigation. The prevention of fires and promotion of sustainable grazing management are essential to achieve the effective conservation of forest as well as prevent the exacerbation of soil degradation and erosion in the area. In addition, there is also an apparent need to identify priority areas sites as protected areas for biodiversity protection. In the Philippines, it increased the number of protected habitats in the quality of protection of the region. Reflecting the highlighted importance of protected areas, increased governmental funding. Are you finished, uh, Mayor? To be remarked for this. Are you finished, uh, okay, Mayor? Alam ko maikli, but kahaba-haba niya, pati agriculture, kasali na dyan, at saka ano. Remember, if you declare it as a protected area, priority conservation, not other things. Kaya nga natin ginagawa ang protected area. Parang okay lang na it will help in the livelihood of people, but the primary purpose is conservation. Ngayon, kung gusto nyo i-develop for your economic something, eh siguro hindi protected area ang hahanapin nyo. Diba? Baka gawin yung tourism area. Diba? Uh, linawin natin yan kasi iba yung protected area, iba yung tourism area. In tourism area, pwede yun na you develop tourism and all that. But the pro if you declare it as a protected area, ang, ang, ang pinaka-importante is the conservation of the protected area. Kasi may priority tayo eh. Pero parang sinasabi ni Mayor na ang priority niya yata, livelihood, agriculture, and uh, ano. That should not uh, that should not come in well, with the conservation. You have to be clear with that. Well, Pag yeah. pinadeclare mong protected area, aalagaan mo yan. Second na yung livelihood, yung agriculture, yung ganon. Kasi hindi naman natin pinipilit na yung mga mga lupa i-declare na protected area. Gusto lang natin i-declare yung disidido sila na gawing protected area yung kanilang lugar. Oo, mayor. At saka sinabi mo dyan, I just want to clarify that na napasaya na sa protected area under NIPAS Bill in 1992. Kung napasa nung 1992, hindi natin dapat ipasa ngayon. Kasi napasa na. Di ba? Totoo ba yun? Where is the DNR of uh, Ilocosur? Uh, where is, uh, can we please recognize the DNR of Ilocosur? Nasaan yung DNR ng Ilocos Sur? Ng Region 1? Region 1. I just want to clarify it if this was passed in the NIPAS in 1992. Kung sinabi ni Mayor, ganun. Um, Madam Chair? Yes. Uh, Comsec in the, Comsec in the po. Um, 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 Atoyne Crisaldi Barcelo of DENR Region 1 would like to speak. 
Yeah, I recognize you. We recognize the DNR of Region 1. Okay. DNR, where are you? Yes, uh, Madam Senator. Okay, go ahead. Sinasabi ni Mayor, eh, napasa daw to na protected area if I heard it right noong 1992. Uh, napasa yan noong 1992, ba't natin ipinapasa ngayon? Uh, ano lang po yun, nabanggit lang po uh, Madam Senator na ano siya sa initial component as initial component po. Alam mo, when you are a protected area, maraming declaration yan. Sometimes declare ng president or ano, executive order, ganun. Hindi yung legislation. Iba yung legislated protected area. That means it went through Congress and the Senate and was passed as a legislated protected area. Iba yun kaysa doon sa mga executive declaration. Laki na clarify ko lang sa inyo kasi from my experience, I have a protected area in our city. Pag executive declaration ng president, hindi mo iniintindi. Because it is not legislated. Pinakamalaking protection sa isang protected area is legislated because that is according to the law and the law cannot be disregarded or else it is illegal. Eh, hindi, hindi yung katulad nun, dineclare na historical site, iba yon iba yon This is a legislated protected area. That means if you are a legislated protected area, you are protected by the law. Anything done to harm you, will be illegal and you can be you can be you can file a case against them because that is illegal gusto ko lang ilinaw kay mayor na pag iminove mo sa senate or sa congress na i-declare ka na protected area decided ka na you want protection for your protected area the verse the 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 desire would be conservation Ngayon, kung maka-provide ka ng livelihood on the side, ganon. Pero ang pinaka-importante is conservation. So when you are uh, uh, supporting a protected area, talagang conservation yan. Kasi hindi namang namin kayo pinipilit na gawing protected area yung lugar nyo. Pag disidido lang kayo na i-conserve yung protected area nyo, then we legislate. Kaya hindi nga ako nag nagle-legislate nang walang galing sa lokal. Oo, oh, hindi. Sino ba 'yan nagsasalita na 'yan? Kasi po, ang kami po ang uh, mapuputukan dito, no? Na wala pa hanggang ngayon kayong establishment of funds sa community. Hindi kita maintindihan. Sino ba 'yung nagsasalita? So we are giving you ano, after Can you recognize yourself and then you talk, you don't talk? Together with me, if you want to speak, you introduce yourself and talk. Sino ba yan nagsasalita? Hindi ko naintindihan mo. Sino yun? Sino yun? Ba baka hindi lang nag-unmute. Baka hindi lang nag-unmute yun. Um, Madam Chair, I think na... Naka, hindi po nakamute yung mic niya. May kausap po siyang iba. Oh, yung comsec ko, ipamute po sila. Kasi hindi pwedeng nagsasalita ako, nagsasalita din yon Kung gusto nila magsalita, sabihin nila na gusto nila magsalita, titigil ako ng pagsasalita. Trabaho yan ng comsec. Yes po. I'm sorry ma'am. Uh, uh, Namute na po namin. Sinabi, Mayor, na yun is a presidential proclamation. Oo, pag presidential proclamation, katulad ng protected area namin, pin-residential proclamation din kami. Hindi kami inintindi. Sinisira pa rin yung protected area namin. Kaya maganda yung legislated, kasi pag legislated, against the law na yung sirain ng protected area nyo. Kaya importante yung legislated. At gusto ko, maintindihan nyo, na pag pinalegislate nyo, illegal na nasirain yung protected area. So kailangan, disidido din kayo na i-protect yung protected area nyo. Kasi kung gusto nyo pang gawing negosyo, hindi eh, pwede yun. Pag protected area ka, kailangan everything will pass through PAMBI. 
Oo. Marami na kayong magde-decide kung ano gagawin sa protected area. I'm just explaining so that you will understand that this is a serious matter. Kasi ito, legislated to eh. Oh, anything done against this will be against the law. Kaya ito ang greatest protection to an area. Ngayon, kailangan disidido din kayo kasi baka mamaya hindi nyo naintindihan na mahigpit tong legislated protected area. Kaya yung mga naandito na nagpupunta para i-legislate nila na protected area, eh natutuwa ako sa kanila kasi disidido sila. <laughs> Oh, hindi lahat ng tao disidido na i-protect ang environment. But this one, katulad ng, ng uh, island of Shergao, nag-file ang kanilang congressman na i-protect ang Shergao. I was amazed. <laughs> Kasi tourism area din yun. Oh, so, ibig sabihin, mas priority nila ang protection kesa yung tourism nila. Diba? They will do their tourism with the protection that they will really take care of Shergao, that it should not be abused. Yun ang meaning ng protected area. So I just want to inform the payor that yung inyo po ay presidential proclamation. It's not a legislated protected area. This is the first time that we're going to legislate Tirad Pass. Oh. And so if we legislate it, Ang pinaka-importante dyan is uh, ma-preserve yung historical value ng Tirad Pass and at the same time ma-conserve ang kanyang environmental value. If in the process, pwede pa rin maghanap buhay ang mga tao in the protected area, hindi masama yun. But it should be uh, uh, taken care of na hindi masisira yung protected area. Yun lang po. Gusto ko lang i-clarify yun. Ah? sa inyo. So, Mayor, uh, are you finished? Okay. Mayor, Mayor Subadan? Suba, Subadan. <coughs> Subadan po, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We will uh, support the uh, uh, House Bill uh, House Bill 9227 and this Bill 2279. Declaring the Tiran Pass protected uh, landscape area, ma'am. Okay. So, thank you. Are there any more people speaking for Tirad Pass? So, we can go to the other ones. No more? Okay. So, we go to HB 9327 and SB 2279. Uh, rather, HB 9206 and SB 173. HB 9206 was written by... Uh, Congressman Gonzalez, and the, if he's going to uh, uh, present the support for the declaration of Mount Arayat Protected Landscape in Pampanga. Okay. Is uh, Congressman Gonzalez here or any of his representative to speak in his behalf? Madam Chair, I'm here. Madam Chair, I'm here. Po. Okay, I'm ayan pala. Oh. oh, yeah, yeah. We recognize Congressman Gonzalez to support the Mount Arayat protected landscape. Okay. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Uh, Senator Toll, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant good morning to all of you. House Bill 9206 seeks to declare Mount Arayat as a protective area with the category of protected landscape with the aim of conserving its biodiversity as well as to further enhancing its natural, ecological, and cultural values. Mount Arayat is currently facing environmental challenges such as illegal logging and landslides, Madam Chair. Mm -hmm. If no reaction, if no action is taken, it is only a matter of time before Mount Arayat degrades into an recoverable pass of land mass, devoid of life and potential natural hazard to the people living within his periphery. But even with this, Madam Chair, with these challenges, Mount Arayat continues, uh, continues to thrive as a new plant, a species named Pyrostria arayat 
was discovered last year by researchers in Mount Arayat National Park. The said discovery is an indication that the National Park on Mount Arayat has sustained its healthy biological diversity amidst adversity. The preservation and conservation of Mount Arayat in accordance to Article, Article 2, Section 16 of the 1987 Constitution, which states that the state shall protect and advance the right of the people to a balanced and beautiful and healthful ecology in accord with the rhythm and harmony of nature. Even before the advent of the Spanish colonizers, the mystical Mount Arayat has been re revered by the ancient Kapangpangans. The Solidarity Mountain sits its flatlands of Pampanga, is also considered as the last was bastion of climate change in the region, a fitting description yeah. of the mighty mountain and a symbol of pride of the people of Pampanga. So in view of this foregoing, Madam Chair, the, appro the approval of this bid is earnestly sought. So maraming salamat po, Madam Chair, at sa ating mga kasama sa Kongreso at Senado. Thank you, uh, Congressman Gonzalez. I just want to know how big is the Mount Arayat protected landscape? Uh, I have the data here, ma'am, in the barrio, ma'am. Uh, can, I, can I ask the regional director to answer that? Kasi okay. nandito po ako sa barrio. Opo. Okay. Regional director of Region 3, BNR, how big is the Mount Arayat protected landscape? Uh, uh, ma'am, uh, good morning po. Can you hear me po? Assistant Director Amelita Ortiz of DNR BMB. Okay. How big is Mount Arayat? Protected. Uh, Madam Chair? Yes. yes. Opo. Uh, yung pong Mount Arayat is 3,706.77 hectares. Okay. Thank you. Located in municipalities of Arayat and Bangalang po province of Pampanga. Arayat and Magalang. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Thank you very much. Uh, Senator Tol, may question ka ba? Senator Tol? Wala, wala. Wala, okay. So are there any more people speaking for Mount Arayat? Who wants to be recognized? Wala na, wala na. Okay. Madam Chair, concept in the po. Oh, okay. Um, the DOT um, Region 3, CRD Carolina, we would like to speak po for Mount Araya. Okay, we recognize DOT. Uh, Director Uy. Okay. Good morning, Director. Yes, yes. Okay. Louder. Yes, um, yes. Uh, with respect to uh, House Bill number. 713 and uh, House Bill number 9206, uh, the Department of Tourism Region 3 Office interposes no objection with uh, the passage of the bill. Thank you. Thank you very much. So that uh, ends yung Mount Arayat. We'll go now to number 5, HB 9328 and Senate Bill 227. Uh, uh, the Sikogon Island Wildlife Sanctuary, authored by uh, Congressman Tupas. We now recognize Congressman Tupas to support the Sikogon Island Wildlife Sanctuary. Maraming salamat po, Madam Chair. Yes. Uh, good morning po sa lahat. Again, Chairperson Cynthia Villar, Senator Francis Tolentino, my fellow lawmakers at HOR, and to our resource persons for today. Together with Representatives Eric Young and Dr. Elpidio Barzaga, the Chairman of the Committee on Environment and Natural Resources at, H at the House of Representatives, who are also principal authors of this bill, I am honored to sponsor today House Bill Number 9328, entitled An Act Declaring Two Parcels of Land Situated Within Sikugan Island Municipality of Carles in the province of Biloilo as a protected area 
with a category of wildlife sanctuary under the National Integrated Protected Area System, NIPAS, to be referred to as the Sikugan Island Wildlife Sanctuary. House Bill Number 9328-4 was approved just last May. And prior to its passage, the technical description of the boundaries of the proposed Sikogon Island Wildlife Sanctuary has been validated by the DNR Biodiversity Management Bureau and NAMRIA. The rich biodiversity of Sikogon Island calls for a need to declare the remaining forest land po of the island as protected area. Masyadong maliit na lang po ito, Madam Chair, ang natira. Gano'n kalaki? Gano'n kalaki? na lang 300 hectares na lang po. Kasi alam ko, dinidevelop na tourism area yung si Cogon Island. That's, so, that's right. Gano'n kalaki, ba yung, gano kalaki ba yung si Cogon Island? It, it's 1,160, Madam Chair. Tapos, so, uh, 300 na lang ang declare yes. na protected yes. wildlife yes. Protected sanctuary. Area. Okay. Yes, 300 na lang po. Uh, yung preliminary baseline data po ng, uh, ng, ng biodiversity based on a study conducted by the Flora and Fauna International a few years back. Nakita po ito sa body of our bill. And uh, Madam Chair, if I may include relevant information about Sikugon Island, ito po ang isa sa medyo maliit na isla in the northern tip of Iloilo province. Just like I said a while ago po, uh, a little over 1,000 hectares ito, and it is politically located in uh, Municipality of Carlos in northern Iloilo, which is the 5th district po ng Iloilo province. Meron pong tatlong barangays, at uh, ang Sikubon Island po ay dati po siyang uh, naging uh, tourist attraction, naging very popular during the 70s and 80s because of high-end resort na tawag po noon ay Sikugon Island Resort na nag-ooperate sa island. At present po, Madam Chair, ang Sikugon Island po is being touted as a possible tourism hub and gateway of Western Visayas in a few years from now po pag natapos ang uh, development ng, ng area. Ma'am, uh, aside po niyan, let me also inform the Honorable Chairperson that I also filed a house bill, na another house bill po, ito naman po ay sa Sikugon Island Ecotourism Zone Act. Na That's different. Sure. It will go to the yes. Department of, uh, rather the Committee on Tourism. Ito yes, ma'am. As we a will, protected we area to. Oh, yes, we yes. will just focus, ma'am. Uh, Kaya po, uh, ito po ay para ma-insure talaga yung protection of the natural resources within the area. At mo naisip na i-declare na protected area yung 300 hectares? Yes, dahil ma'am, based on the study, yung number one po na importance ito ay protection ng significant species po or group of species to ensure the protection po and conservation and management ng natural biodiversity of uh, the island po. Based po sa baseline study, may mga 318 species recorded. Meron po mga endemic lang sa Panay. Marami pa po yun po sa flora. Meron din hyper to fauna, mga 21 species. Meron din po mga 62 recorded na sa ibon naman po. Tulad ng mga hawks, uh, tulad ng flower pecker, tulad ng tailor bird, at marami pa po. And sa mga animals po, ma'am, meron mga flying fox. Uh, meron pa pong mga golden mantle. And uh, marami pong mga critically endangered po na mga mammals na sa loob niyan. And uh, ma'am, another, another very important concern po pag uh, na-reforest ito at na-protectionan talaga lahat po na bigyan ng, ng area ay ito po ang main source kasi po ng community para sa tubig. Ito po the whole so the whole island. Ito rin po ang Tapos meron din pong kinandak na protected area suitability assessment and DNR. Yung lahat po ng local associations inendorse po ang designation ng area as protected uh, category. Meron din pong local ordinance 
existing po ngayon ng municipality na declare ng parcel of land. And if I may add, ma'am, very short po ito with your indulgence. Galing yes. po sa local government unit. Thank you po. And I would like to quote yung position paper nila sa House Bill number 92, 9328 and Senate Bill No. 2277, the municipality recognizes the importance of environmental protection and wildlife conservation, which affects not only the ecosystem, but also the social and economic components of the community. Further, the local government unit stays true to its commitment to conserve, conserving the environment and natural resources for the benefit of the present and future generations. It, it is for these reasons that the LGU of Carles, Iloilo, confirms its support and interposes no objection to the said bill uh, to be referred as the Sikugon Island Wildlife Sanctuary and its counterpart po, Senate Bill number 2277. We put our trust and confidence in this bill to, to the congressman and to the honorable chairperson, Senator Honorable Silvia Villar, as well as DNR, in ensuring that this House bill and its counterpart with God's grace, will yield a positive impact to Sikugon Island and its people. Ma'am, uh, in closing, po, the, the passage po of this bill will ensure the protection, conservation, and management po ng natural biodiversity. Uh, and the approval of this bill is earnestly sought. Maraming salamat po and to God be the Lord. Thank you, po, Madam Chairperson. I wish to congratulate the Congressman of uh, of uh, Iloilo for doing that. Usually, pag uh, naging tourism area na, bihira yung nagmumu pa sila for conservation. <laughs> Oo, kasi pinakakinabangan na. But I'm glad that you are moving for this just like Shargao. Because I think in the long run, pag may conservation area ka dyan, or meron kang protected area, mas gaganda ang tourism. Kasi hindi masyadong commercialized, di ba? Yung mga pupunta dyan would also see na meron pa silang makikita na, na natural areas for them to see while vacationing there. Pangit din yung the whole thing is commercialized, puro building, di ba? Maganda rin yung may naiiwan for them to walk around and enjoy the natural forest, the uh, fauna and flora and the animal species and bird species. So, kaya congratulations sa iyo you, for thinking of that. Kasi akala ko yung si Kogo, nibibigay nyo na lahat sa ano, commercial. No, ma'am. Okay, no, ma sige. I'm chair. Okay. Yes, uh, Senator Tolentino, yes. I'd like also to express my uh, congratulations to the good uh, congressman. I'm, I'm familiar, I've seen the area, but I, have, I haven't been there. Nakita ko lang po sa... Uh, sa kabila, at sa Carles. At uh, napakaganda po nung lugar. Siguro po yung yung nainapot na pinakaabot po yung pelikula ang pinakamagandang hayop sa bulat ng lupa. Si Gloria Diaz. <laughs> Kaya yan, ma'am. Ang um, tanong ko lang po. Diyan po. po. Uh, yes, Senator, diyan po. Diaz. Wala na po doon si Gloria Diaz ngayon. <laughs> at tanong ko lang po, ma'am. Uh, yes. Yes. Nakikita ko po yan, meron ng uh, runway yung sa International Airport. Uh, tuloy pa po ba itong International Airport sa Sibobon? At ano po ang efekto nito doon sa ititiklare ngayon na, na, na area at ang legislation? Ano po yung... Kasi tatlong islands po yan, yung isa located, yung isa mas, mas maliit. So how, how will this, ano, how will this uh, affect uh, generally the conservation of the area. Pero I, I'm in full support. I, I, I believe that it can be blended uh, with the right efforts. Thank you, Madam Chair. Madam Chair? Yes, yes. We recognize, uh, to answer, we recognize the Congressman to answer the question. Thank you, po, Madam Chair. And thank you very much, po, Senator Francis Valentino, for your kind words. 
Senator, uh, I just like to clarify po that the Sikunga Island po is single island ito, which is as big as Boracay. Yung na-mention mo po kanina, sir, with the, uh, I think yun yung Isla Gigantes that you're referring, it's the Isla Gigantes, another group of islands naman po, that we are developing with another bill po. As an airport. Uh, yun po, yun, uh, Tapos po, based sa DMR naman po na study, there will be no 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 much impact po, not much. So far po, yung sinasabi mong airport, uh, Senator Francis po, uh, actually nagkaroon na po ng median flight about uh, last, about uh, a year ago, but because of uh, itong po, mga nagkaroon ng conflict regarding sa issue on ownership ng lupa, Pinigil po, nagkaroon ng cease and desist order ang um, Department of Agrarian Reform. But just recently, sir, about uh, three weeks ago, kasama ni Secretary John, uh, John of uh, DAR, nagkasama po kami with the local officials, especially po yung barangay officials and yung mga nag oppose before, nagkaroon na po sila ng understanding. Ito po, napirmahan na po, pirmado na. At, uh, at uh, nirecall na po ng, ng DAR yung problema dahil nagkaroon na po ng amicable settlement doon sa area po na ni-request ng local residents. So tuloy po ang plano ng uh, Ayala, hopefully po, kung ma maabutin to Kaya po, in-insure natin na sana yung remaining na 300 hectares talagang masigurado po, Senator, na talagang maka-enjoy din yung ating mga next generation na may magandang area later on na baka maging, uh, maging compatible and mag mag-support din po, mag-complement sa malaking development na ginagawa dito po sa isla ng Sikugon as part of uh, Municipality of Carlos. And additional po, Madam Chair, uh, based po sa presentation ng mga developers, isa po itong malaking project na magkakaroon ng impact po not only sa Northern Iloilo but probably yung mas malaking area sasakupin po yung mga ibang areas of Iloilo City dahil magkakaroon na ng mga ng mga tours and ibang mga ganyan. Pero dahil po dito, mas ma-insure natin na ma-protectionan yung naiwan na 300 hectares po na consider as timberland and ma-convert po as a island wildlife sanctuary. Thank you very much po Senator Francis and Madam Chair Ma'am Cynthia. So maraming salamat ke Okay, Congressman Tupas, wala nang magsasalita in behalf of the, um, uh, Madam I'm Chair. Sure. Madam Chair, come set in the po. Uh, for our next speaker po, for the Sikogon Island Wildlife Sanctuary, we have um, Penro Iloilo, Mr. Salvador Maglinong Jr. Uh, Nakalag in na po siya. We recognize yes. the Penro. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Madam uh, Chairman po. Good morning, po, ma'am. Yeah, we in behalf sa, of the uh, uh, of the province of the inner province of Iloilo, ma'am. We fully support the the uh, passing of, uh, House Bill three two eight and uh, Senate Bill number two two seven seven. Po, uh, actually, ma'am, we we we've been. Uh, uh, doing a lot to protect the, the remaining timberland area of Sikugon Island po. And uh, we are thankful that the Honorable Congressman of the 5th District uh, care to uh, author the, uh, the the bill. And of course, uh, uh, with our Senate counterpart, with the Senate counterpart po, in the Mabiliar, uh, maraming salamat po. Uh, yan lang po, ma'am. Thank you very much. So we can uh, we're finish with... Uh, the Skogan Island, we will go now to the next. Number six is uh, House Bill 8440, authored by uh, Congressman Lee, Lim Kai Chong and SB 17212 by yours truly, the Hinakpan Mystical Hills Natural Monument in Negros Oriental. Can we recognize the people who will speak in behalf of Congressman Congresswoman Lim Kai Chong, because I think she's sick. So who will speak for her? Madam Chair, uh, come sec in the po. Um, on behalf of uh, Congresswoman Lim Kai Chong, we have her uh, Chief of Staff, Mr. Jan Bangsal, who will speak on behalf of the Congresswoman po. 
Oh, we recognize the Chief of Staff of Congressman Lim Kai Chong. Please uh, defend your bill now. Can we you speak now? Yeah, sino ba yon? Uh, hello, ma'am. Yeah. Please introduce uh, yourself. Uh, hi, I'm John Bangsalt, one of the staff of Kong Josie. Ah, hindi po ako yung ano, yung chief of staff ni ma'am po. I'm here just to take notes po. Uh, who will speak to defend the uh, Hiknapan Mystical Hills Natural Monument? Uh, Madam Chair, we also have um, for the Hinakpan Mystical Hills Natural Monument uh, from the DOT Region 7, Mr. Charlie Fabre, the Assistant Regional Director. Why is DOT uh, defending this? The DNR should defend this, not BOT, DOT. This is not a tourism site. This is a uh, 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 conservation area. site, protected area. So you call DNR, Region, region 7, the DNR. DNR. Oh, region 7. Oh, you defend it. This is not a tourism bill. Yes, Madam Chair, I am the... Please introduce yourself. I am Charlie Please introduce. Pabri. Madam Chair, I am Charlie E. Pabri of DNR Region 7, Assistant okay. Regional Director of Technical Services. Madam Chair, our position of uh, House Bill 840 and Senate Bill uh, 1712, an act declaring the Hinakpan Mystica Hills in the city of Giholngan, Negros Oriental as a protected area under the category of natural monument under the National Integrated Protected Area Systems and providing for its management. The DINA Region 7 supports the passage of this uh, bill for the Hinakpan Mystica Hills with the following grounds. Section 6 of DAO 2019-05 IRR of Republic Act 11038 stipulates that the additional areas with unique physical features, anthropological significance, and high biodiversity may be proposed for the inclusions of the system. Hinakpan Mystica Hills possess a unique physical, geological, and natural features that needs to be preserved. It's like uh, chocolate hills in Bohol. It supports the number of important and relevant species of endemic flora and fauna that are of high conservation value. The establishment of the site as a natural monument can promote ecotourism and preserve socio-cultural socio integrity of the people. However, we, we claimants of alienable and disposable lands included in the proposal shall be taken into consideration of their prior vestige rights. So again, in behalf of uh, Region 7, we fully support the passage of this uh, House Bill 8840 and Senate Bill 1712. Uh, uh, Charlie, may I know the size of Hinakpan Mystical Hills Natural Monument? Yung area niya? How big? The total area is 1,131.34 hectares, covering the barangay of Hinakpan, Imilda, Lagatasanon, and Villegas, Madam Chair. Anong bayan? Hinakpan? Giholngan City. Giholngan City of Negros Oriental. So the, the barriers are Hinak, Hinakpan, what else? Hinakpan. Imelda, Lagatasanon, Villegas, all in city of Giholngan. So 1,131 hectares. Tama ba yun? 1,131.24 hectares. 1,300 31. 31. Okay. So are there 
Any other person who will speak for Hinakpan? Uh, Madam Chair, our next speaker for Hinakpan Mystical Hills Natural Monument is Governor Roel de Gamo of Negros Oriental. Okay. Um, um, right in Governor de Gamo. My good, uh, good morning. Oh, yes, uh, good morning. Thank you for coming. Okay. Uh, yes, uh, good morning, Madam Senator Villar. Uh, I am Attorney Froyland Joseph Pinili, the Assistant Provincial Administrator. Uh, the Governor yeah, was here. I saw a while him. Ago. I saw yes. him before. Yes. Yes. I'm sorry. Uh, We're taking a yes. lot of time. Okay. Sige. Uh, yes, Go ahead. Uh, uh, he instructed me that he poses no objection to the said uh, bill, uh, provided that uh, private properties are also protected. Uh, yun lang po yung sabi niya. We, we don't include in the protected area private properties that clear DNR. DNR? Nasaan yung DNR? Bakit? Bakit i-include ang private property? Yes, when you, when you declare it as a protected area, it should be government. And if it's private, there should be a way by which we get the protected area. Diba? Yes, Madam Chair. Pwede Based tayo the... mag-include ng private tapos makikipag-away tayo sa private whether it's a protected area or not. That's your job. When you, you measure yes, the but... area, it should be public. Okay. So this yes, 1,331 hectares is public land. Portion of that 1,331, Madam Chair, is uh, uh, alienable and disposable land. But based on the implementing guidelines, we will respect the rights of, of we will respect their vested rights. Eh, but pa include yung private land? Eh, kung hindi naman sila sumunod sa atin, bakit pa? But hindi mo pa iniwala yun. It's like a, a cone of uh, hills, of, uh, Madam Chair. So the plain area, some some of the plain areas is already alienable. And but how can you control your private land in a protected area? Tell me. Yes, Madam Chair. You have to explain that. Uh, because if you are declared a protected area, you you have to follow yung ruling ng Pambi. Eh kung private land yun, why, how will you ask them to follow? Based Ilan on ang private land dito? Ilan ang private land dito? Sa 1,331. It's about 20%, Madam Chair. So, pag-usapan nyo yan kasi alam ko, pag-protected area, <laughs> ano na yan, kontrolado na yan ng pambi. So, if, if it is private land, will not, uh, will not con con uh, agree with what the pambi will be doing, might as well remove them <laughs> from the protected area kasi ano lang yan, gulo lang yan, di ba? You have to explain that to me. Kasi I cannot imagine declaring it as protected area that's owned by private. How can you ask them to follow the rules of a protected area? Medyo mabigat ang protected area. Okay, please explain uh, it to me. Anyway, we will still make the committee report. I want the COMSEC to take note of that. Okay? So, wala na tayong pag-uusapan to... to, to Tungkol sa hinakpan. Okay. We go now to the next. Wala na magsasalita tungkol sa hinakpan? Um, wala na pong nag-post ng ano pa, Madam Chair. Okay. So we go to number 7, House Bill 9326 and SB 2276, the Naga Kabasalan Protected Landscape sponsored by Congresswoman Hofer of Sambuanga, Sibugay. Can we recognize now Congresswoman Hofer? Thank okay. you, Madam Chair. Thank you uh, for waiting so long. Huh? We're so That's long. Okay. <laughs> enjoyed your, your committee meeting. Okay. Um, good morning to uh, esteemed Senator uh, Chairperson Cynthia Villar and of course, Senator Francis Tolentino, my colleagues from the House of Representatives and to all guests present. It is an honor to speak to you today on the importance of passing Senate Bill 2276, 
um, which seeks to declare a parcel of land located in the municipalities of Naga and Cabasalan, Zamboanga, Sibugay, as protected area with a category of protected landscape uh, under the e naipas in Zamboanga Sibugay, the area covered by the proposed Naga Cabasalan protected landscape functions both as a watershed and habitat to endemic flora and fauna, as well, um, as, well as indigenous peoples and cultural communities. With 5,504.44 hectares, the area provides rich biological resources in both underneath and surface areas. It encompasses the watersheds of Tipan and Busiawan with perennial springs draining towards Bakalan River and emptying out into Sibugay Bay. The cave systems within the Naga Kabasalan karst area are also believed to be interconnected to one another. All these highlight the landscape significance as an invaluable life support system. Sadly, the initial assessment conducted by DNR Region 9 in 2006 or 15 years ago showed that these benefits may be wiped out if we fail to put a stop to current injurious economic activities in the area, such as conversion to agricultural uses, in migration of outsiders, and at a minimal scale, poaching, charcoal making, and kainin. House Bill number 9326 and its Senate counterpart, Senate Bill number 2276, authored by no less than the chairperson, Cynthia Villar herself, seek to avert this worsening crisis by ensuring that the area receives proper conservation, protection, management, and rehabilitation. Um, this will be achieved through cooperation among the national government, local government units, concerned national government organizations, private entities, local commun and local communities. Through this measure, we hope to leave a legacy for a better world and environment to future generations. One that not only nurtures them, but also protects them from natural calamities. Please allow me, Madam Chair, to take this opportunity to express my gratitude to this committees for taking this measure and to the Madam, Ch Madam Chair for making the counterpart bill. I look forward to the approval of the Senate bill uh, by this August chamber, given the impact on the lives of Sibugainons as well as the flora and fora in the area. Again, thank you very much, Madam Chair. I just I want to inform everybody that uh, we just collected the uh, local bills. Kasi pag ginawa natin sa middle ng term to, hindi pa kumpleto. Kaya naisip ko na ngayon na para I will have time to pass this before we end our session in December. Kaya kahit na tayo bakasyon, naghihiring tayo para pagbalik natin sa July, ipafile namin to sa floor and then I can defend it and then we will pass the bill before the end of our uh, session, which we hope to end in December because uh, election period na after that. Uh, we will go on campaigning. So, uh, kaya medyo inipun ko muna to lahat ng local bill para maipasa ko yung mga local bill nyo para sabay-sabay na lang. So, I'm glad that uh, at least seven congressmen have filed pa for protected area uh, 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 legislation. Alam mo, uh, it takes a lot for you to really uh, have the strength <laughs> to to establish protected area in your provinces. Kaya I am very much appreciative of those uh, uh, districts who are uh, uh, sponsoring this protected area legislation. Alam mo, kausap ko nga si Attorney Oposa E nagulat siya na meron tayong 107 na lugar na nag-apply for protected area and now we're adding 7 o di 114 na tayo. Nagulat siya, akala niya walang congressman na gustong i-declare na protected area yung kanilang mga lugar. In fact, he's asking me for the names para pabibigyan niya daw ng award sa international. <laughs> so, I'm very thankful that you are uh, really 
uh, uh, protecting your places in the Philippines, which should be protected. Thank you very much. And so we go on now to this arboretum bills. Uh, tatlo ang nakafile na arboretum bills. Arboretum bills are what you call uh, botanical gardens. And I'm very happy that uh, yung suki ko, si Congressman Abdullah Dimaporo and his son, Khalid Dimaporo, uh, filed uh, three uh, alboretum bills for Lanao del Norte. I guess they can both sponsor it together kasi puro Lanao del Norte naman ito. HB 7798 and, uh, 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 sponsored by uh, uh, Congressman Dimapor Congressman Dimaporos and uh, the counterpart SB 1243 sponsored by now less than Senator Senate President Vicente Soto. And number two is HB 6929 by the Dimaporos and SB 1244 sponsored by Senator uh, Senate President Soto. And number three is HB 6928 sponsored by the Dimaporos and SB 1245 sponsored by Senate President Soto. So uh, may I ask now, Congressman Abdullah Dimaporo and Congressman Khalid Dimaporo to sponsor the bills. Alam nyo kahapon kasama ko rin siya kasi nag-sponsor naman siya ng mga fisheries, uh, hatcheries. Alam mo, yun naman doon sa Committee on Agriculture. Ngayon naman ay uh, uh, about botanical garden. So I think uh, we should be very proud of Congressman Dimaporo dahil siya eh, talagang... Uh, Pahilig sa agriculture at saka sa environment. Thank you, Congressman. So you can now have the floor to sponsor your three bills. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Madam Chairperson. Uh, as the uh, Senate bills uh, stated, uh, uh, the climate change is affecting us. We have frequent flooding, soil erosion, and landslides. And to mitigate these harmful effects, is to plant more trees, uh, uh, Madam uh, Chairperson. And uh, this is the reason why uh, uh, yesterday uh, I asked uh, BIFAR uh, to take over the property of uh, the Department of Agriculture in Lala in order to uh, have uh, uh, research there because uh, uh, Pangil Bay uh, is changing. Uh, we are having lesser and lesser marine water uh, mixed uh, with the fresh water. Um, and therefore, uh, the fish uh, that will survive in Pangil Bay may differ. And this is the reason why I want to have a research center uh, in uh, uh, Lala, where uh, uh, the, the Department of Agriculture has uh, uh, 30 hectares. Um, the Senate bills, uh, Madam Chairperson, are more for the implementation of national agencies, uh, especially the DNR. Unfortunately, the DNR has been unable to stop illegal logging in Lanao del Norte. Uh, and uh, uh, ngayon, halos kalbo na ang aming mountains, including Mount Inayawan, protected forest. Protected forest na by law, pero uh, unstoppable uh, pa rin ang illegal logging doon. Uh, and this is affecting not only Pangit Bay, but also our rivers. Uh, nagiging shallow na po ang aming mga rivers. Uh, and, uh, and now, uh, the uh, mayor of the municipality of Lala uh, bought something, I forgot the name of that equipment, in order to get out uh, the, uh, uh, the mud or soil uh, added to the river and uh, he is making it as a road so that the, uh, uh, so that the um, uh, boats can enter the river. Um, and uh, uh, Peligro din po yung more than 11,000 hectares uh, of irrigated lands uh, by the National Irrigation Administration in uh, the Kapatagan Valley po uh, because uh, bumababa na rin 
uh, ang mga uh, soil doon sa mga irrigated uh, areas at uh, maasigurado pong maapektuhan po uh, ang irrigated areas. Uh, so ang, uh, ang uh, proposed bill po namin will not be, uh, will be implemented by both uh, the uh, uh, national agency, uh, DNR, and also the LGUs. Uh, dapat ang LGU ay magkaroon ng interes po uh, at yung mga tao po sa lugar magkaroon ng interes uh, sa kahoy, uh, forest, trees. And this is the reason why we, uh, we thought of uh, algorithm uh, at uh, uh, doon po uh, we are hoping that uh, if we if this can be approved, uh, the uh, uh, algorithm will be uh, uh, set up uh, near uh, schools. Para po uh, sa bata pa ang uh, uh, mga tao sa Lanao del Norte, uh, nakikita na nila uh, yung magandang uh, uh, mga kahoy uh, at uh, they may have, uh, uh, they may develop value. Uh, to uh, to the trees uh, at paglaki nila ay maaari makatulong po okay. sila uh, 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 and uh, for 30 uh, minutes the, uh, yes uh, with the three algorithms uh, that we are now uh, considering uh, uh, in this committee I believe that we can convince the other municipalities uh, uh, to uh, have algorithm to uh, Madam uh, Chairperson, especially uh, the uh, especially the inland municipalities, Nana uh, said Aspo, Nana mga mountains, uh, where we need to plant uh, uh, trees. Uh, and then our next step uh, will be to ask the DNR to help us plant trees uh, in our municipalities, Madam Chairperson. So thank you very much for giving me time. Thank you very much, uh, Congressman Dimaporo. I just want to tell you that uh, this year I asked uh, Secretary Simatu to give the greening program to the legislated protected area. So if your protected area is legislated, then they will have a, a budget for tree planting because uh, he said he will give the tree planting project to the legislated protected area. So, and if you think that the DNR is not uh, protecting your legislated protected area, you just file a resolution uh, complaining and then I can hear, I can, my committee can investigate why uh, protected areas are not being protected by DNR. So, uh, mag, mag file ka lang ng resolution para may basis ako to investigate, especially if your protected area is legislated. Uh, that is a provision of the law to be protected. Uh, is your son, uh, Congressman Khalid, will be speaking in behalf of this arboretum? Kasi naandito siya, uh -huh. di ba? I don't know if uh, he has joined us because he lives... You're in the America. one? Hindi ba ikaw si Congressman Khalid? Yeah. Uh, would you like to speak in behalf of your bills? Kani uh, yes. para kita nakikita eh, sa picture. <laughs> Thank you, Madam Chair. And uh, good noon, um, Senator uh, Tol Tolentino. Um, just exactly as my father uh, mentioned, uh, these bills uh, in spirit are uh, supposed to um uh, hopefully um uh, promote the um the uh, greening of our province lanao del norte and will be one of the many ways we can uh, combat uh deforestation in our province i just like to add uh, to what my uh, father said my um, counterpart in the second district uh, that these bills actually have been filed since the 16th congress so um the bills from the first district are actually the bills of my mother po uh, Madam Chair, and uh, it will be a uh, you know a good report uh, 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 on my behalf to tell my mom that I've uh, <laughs> I've, I've accomplished something uh, on on her behalf. Uh, she really wanted to establish um, arboretums in the municipality of Tagaluan uh, to pro to promote uh, the greening of the municipality because of the uh, massive deforestation there. Uh, and also in the municipality of Kulambugan, because we have a sen Senro there 
uh, and she noticed that uh, medyo mahina ang trabaho nila when it comes to fighting uh, illegal logging. Uh, unfortunately, in these two municipalities, uh, they do not meet the uh, prerequisite or criteria for protected areas. So this is the small part that the national government can play in helping the province of Blanao del Norte. Thank you, po. Thank you. Um, what, is, what is the name of your protected area? Your father said you have a protected area legislated. Berba. Uh, yes, ma Madam Chair, we have two. Uh, we actually have two protected areas. One is legislated, uh, and, and what that's is Mount. Mount Inayawan in the municipality of Nunungan. And this is the water, this is the watershed and the last virgin forest of Lanao del Norte. The other one is not legislated. The other one uh, was uh, through an executive order and was not legislated under the NIPAS Act. And uh, I maybe you, you can file again. Uh, so yeah, Madam Chair, you brought up a very good point in the earlier discussions uh, that there is, um, if, if the area is uh, controlled by the private sector or is being used for tourism, medyong mahirap, you know, to, to protect Oh, yeah, that yeah, area. I know. I know. And, and that is the problem in the second one. So we're still Yo. discussing it in the local level. And uh, oh. once once we have a united stand, uh, we will we will file the bill, Madam Chair. Just like what happened in Iloilo, they did a portion as protected area. Hindi naman kailangan lahat, di ba? Uh, yes. Okay. Thank you very uh, much. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, Congressman Di Maporo, yes. Abdullah. But, uh, Madam Chairperson, the three uh, algorithm uh, 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 is because uh, 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 Lano del Norte is uh, long. Uh, Taguluan is on the east. Uh, and uh, Pulambugan is at the center. And MSU uh, ENAC is uh, on the west. Uh, uh, near Iligan. Near Iligan. Uh, uh, no, uh, what is near Iligan is Taguluan. Uh, ta Taguluan is near Iligan. Um, where is the MSU? Near where? Diba lalagyan kayo ng bridge dyan from your province to, ano, to Misamis Occidental. Diba magkakaroon kayo ng bridge? Yes, from uh, um, to Osami City, Madam Chair. Asaan yung uh, Mindanao State University? Uh, yung Mindanao State University uh, campus uh, in uh, Sultan Aga de Mapuro uh, municipality is, is, uh, is by the uh, Iliana Bay, which is in Morogol. Uh, Mor uh, Morogol is uh, 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 facing Borneo. Ah, uh, iba pa yun. Malayo pa yun. Uh -oh. Not near the Pangil Bay Bridge. No, uh, it's not, not near. It's Kulambugan that is near, beside uh, Tubod. Uh, ah, okay. Okay. So the Pangil Bay Bridge is in the middle. In yes, the middle. Yes, okay. Okay. Maybe when you have the Pangil Bridge, we can go to what you're talking about na mga malalayong probinsya. Kasi oh. nagdaan ako dyan, sumasakay ako sa boat papuntang, uh, papuntang Osami City, di ba? May boat oh. na kumocross. Ngayon, di na tayo magkocross ng boat. Meron na tayong bridge, uh, di ba? So, Congratulations at meron na kayong bridge towards Osami City kasi may may airport sa Osami City, di ba? Eh yung yes. bridge niyo daw parang ilang minuto lang eh. Ilang gaano kahaba 'yon? Ilang kilometer? Uh, okay. Yung bridge niyo? Malik, maikli lang eh. Yung bridge niyo, yung Pangil Bridge, ilang kilometer? I think it's um four four kilometers. Oh, so mistaken. five minutes lang nasa ano na tayo Tanggub, di ba? And Tanggub is thirty minutes from ano, di ba? From Osami. Okay, so we're finished with the bills on arboretum and uh, 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 if you are as, as satis not satisfied with how they protect your protected area, maybe you can file a resolution so I can investigate how they are protecting the protected areas. And so I wish to thank our... Um, Madam Chair? Yes, yes. Yeah, come back in the po. Uh, we also have invited, the committee have also invited some um, from the ASEAN Center for Biodiversity 
Um, she's the lady who started the uh, INAI PASPO way back 16th Congress. Si okay. direct, uh, Director Mundita Lim po. Okay. So we recognize Director Mundita Lim. Okay. Uh, that is just a DNR eh. Bago siya pumunta sa... ASEAN Center, di ba? Kaya uh, siya nag-start nitong uh, protected area. Welcome, Mundita. And uh, uh, the floor is with you. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. Uh, first, we would like to uh, just express our appreciation and to welcome the addition of uh, this new protected area bills uh, that we have just filed um, and it expands the coverage in the country's protected area system under the, your milestone in IPAS Act. Uh, once passed, these new legislative protected areas will become qualified for nomination as part of the ASEAN Heritage Parks in the Philippines. And being the Secretariat of the ASEAN Heritage Parks Program, the ACB, the only center in uh, the only ASEAN center that is being hosted here in the Philippines will be happy to support this process once initiated by yourself and and uh, by the Philippine government, by the DNR. Moreover, Madam Chair, these proposals will scale up our current terrestrial protected area coverage. As you have mentioned, more than 50% of our total land area to an extent that it will now allow us to reach the 2020 national target of 17% for terrestrial PAs and substantially eventually contribute to the intended 30% global target by 2030. 15% na tayo eh. Mandita, yes, we're 15%. Oh. Yes, ma'am. Congratulations, ma'am. Uh, uh, it, it, this will significantly contribute to the intended 30% uh, global target by, 20, by 2030. So uh, the Philippines will be leading again uh, in the global community uh, as far as uh, protecting our uh, vital ecosystems uh, is concerned. Uh, there are also various science-based tools uh, that are useful in affirming the biodiversity and ecological importance of these proposed areas, such as the KBA maps, high-value conservation area maps, and maps of areas with high nature contributions to people such as importance for water supply, for disaster mitigation, clean air, and for carbon storage. Uh, of course, we will defer to the BMB, who is the repository for national data for this information, but the ACB is, of course, uh, stand, uh, stands ready to complement the, this information at the regional level. Uh, the ACB, as a regional center, for excellence for biodiversity stands ready to provide technical assistance and support that may be necessary to help enable the Philippines to achieve its targets for protected areas, including improving management effectiveness and contribute significantly to be able to at least push for achieving the contemplated global ambition of conserving 30% of the planet, protecting and its marine or and terrestrial ecosystems uh, by 2030. Uh, uh, Madam Chair, uh, that's our reaction on, on your PA bills. And uh, if you will allow me, uh, we I will continue on uh, on the arboretum. Uh, okay. Madam Chair. Okay. Uh, the ACB also fully supports the setting up of arboretums in Lanao del Norte. Arboretums and botanical gardens serve as gene pool for native trees and plant species that can be used for restoring vulnerable ecosystems. It is hoped that these facilities will enable the provinces and municipalities near the site to source their planting materials for restoring the vulnerable areas that need to be rehabilitated. As you mentioned in your statement earlier, in your opening statement, uh, Madam Chair, uh, this is very timely because uh, the United Nations has set 2021 as the UN Decade on Ecosystem Restoration which aims to prevent, halt, and reverse the degradation of ecosystems on every continent in every ocean. Uh, the ASEAN, through the efforts of the ACB, will also launch the ASEAN Green Initiative, or the AGI, which aims for 10 million trees to be planted and grown in 10, mil in 10 years. The AGI will recognize three growing endeavors from various sectors based on criteria that seek to contribute to ecosystem restoration such as the use of native species. These bills, once passed, Madam Chair, will be a significant step 
towards possible recognition of ecosystem restoration initiatives in Lanao and as part of the ASEAN Green Initiative Program, which requires the use of native vegetation for planting and, and growing. Thank you very much for this opportunity, uh, Madam Chair. Uh, Mundita, I wish you will help Lanao del Norte in their arboretum para naman magsaksit sa Mindanao para matulungan natin na wag uh, ma-deforest ang Mindanao, di ba? And at the same time, I would ask you to make a module. Kasi meron kami dito sa Las Piñas, it's 10 minutes from the airport. We have a wetland center wherein you can, you can uh, have a, a training for all those na merong protected area to learn how to protect their protected area. Kasi kailangan turuan din eh, kasi hindi nila alam ang gagawin. Oo. Maybe you can make a module and sponsor a training in our, uh, so they will see also our protected area in uh, near the airport. It's 10 minutes from the airport and it has now a bridge directly going to our protected area. Matatapos na this, ano, this year and uh, siguro pagbukas ng ating uh, ano tawag dito yung pandemic kasi kami sa Las Piñas we hope to finish vaccinating by September of 2021 pag nabukas na ang economy natin maybe we can sponsor uh, training center training uh, training modules para sa mga merong protected areas there are one, 107 of them and we are passing another seven. That's a total of 114. <laughs> Naturoan mo sila how to... Ano, kasi si, si Mundita is a former employee of DNR. Head siya ng BMB. BMB ba yung hinahead mo before? Ano yung hinahead mo before? Yes, ma'am. The biodiversity management. Oh, Kaya lang, eh, na, na ano siya, na, sa, na pirate ng ASEAN Center. Siguro sweldo niya doon dollar, kaya mas gusto niya doon. <laughs> eh, tapos eh, mahirap pa kasundo tong ating DNR dito eh. Oo, mahirap pa sunodin, di ba? So, so, I hope you can make a module to train yung mga may protected area how to preserve their protected area. Para naman na mag-aral tayo. Kasi, Alam mo, madali lang magpasa ng batas, pero yung talagang gawin yung pag-protect, it's a difficult job. Oh, so, I hope you can help us being the Asian, ASEAN Biodiversity Center. Okay. Yes, Thank you very we'll much. Yes, okay. We'll work closely with your office, ma'am. Okay. I wish to thank our resource person and guests who have shared valuable information and views on the bills discussed. I wish also to thank uh, Senator Tolentino and all the congressmen who were here, uh, Senator Dimaporo, both Khalid and Abdullah, Senator Hofer, ay, rather, Congressman Hofer, Congressman Dimaporo, Congressman uh, Sabiliano, Congressman Gonzalez, Congressman Mangawang, may nakalimutan ba ako sa mga Congressman? And thank you for coming. Uh, itong si... Uh, Congressman Dimaporo, matyaga, kahapon, maghapon din siyang kasama ko, ngayon maghapon na naman. So thank you for coming. The committee will be forming a technical working group to fine-tune the bills to be reported out by my committee when we open Congress in, in the July. And so I want this meeting suspended in case we need to discuss more. And thank you for attending. Magandang hapon. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Sir, thank you. Sir, yes, sir, yes. Sir, sir, okay. I'm really a co-author of the measures that you will sponsor. Yeah, yesterday. yeah. Okay. Thank you, ha, Francis, for coming, ha. Kasi Francis is a vice chair of our Committee on Environment. Kasi uh, siya ang head chairman ng DILG. Kaya without DILG, hindi naman mag improve yung ating environment. Di ba? <laughs> oh, kaya thank you for coming. And thank you to all of you. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>